Before we start to our first lesson in the Earth and Life Science, let us first define what is Earth Science. So Earth Science is the study of Earth and the universe around it. Uses observation and experimentation to discover the causes of natural events. So what are the branches of Earth Science? Of course, there are four major areas of study, which are geology, oceanography, meteorology, and astronomy. So when we say geology, it is the study of the origin, history, processes, and structure of the solid earth. So the examples are volcanologists in this picture, who studied volcanoes. When we say oceanography, it is the study of the Earth's ocean. So example is studying of waves, tides, or ocean currents. Next is meteorology, which is the study of the Earth's atmosphere, especially weather and Climate. Examples are meteorologists who studied or using Doppler radar to track storms. Astronomy is the study of the universe beyond Earth and it is the oldest branch of Earth science, which is an example of space exploration. Next is environmental science, which is the study of the way humans interact with their environment. So example is the effects of pollution, loss of biodiversity, and use of natural resources. So what are the importance of earth science? In understanding earth science, we need to focus on the natural settings that is happening in the world. So an understanding of natural forces can help you predict potential disasters. We also need to understand conservation of natural resources. So when we say science as a process, so behavior of natural systems so of course the scientist thinks and assume because nature is understandable similar forces is example to similar result and nature is really predictable so let us discuss our first lesson entitled origin and structure of the earth planet earth with the competency Recognize the uniqueness of Earth being the planet in the solar system with properties necessary to support life. So Earth is the only planet in the solar system known to harbor life or shall we say exist life. So our planet has a molten nickel iron core which gave rise to an extensive magnetic field which along with the atmosphere and shields us from harmful radiation coming from the sun. So in this lesson, you will further understand why this planet is called the living planet. So just a part of the vast universe is the solar system. From your previous learning way back when you were in high school or in your junior high school, you had learned identify the planets in the solar system. So what do you think are the characteristics of the planet Earth that make it different from all the other planets? So what are the factors that makes the planet habitable? And lastly, what are the characteristics of planet Earth that makes it habitable? And you will learn this as we go on to our lesson. So Earth is the only planet in the solar system 
thus has a large amount of liquid water, which about 70% of the surface of the earth is covered by the liquid or frozen water. Because of this, earth is sometimes called blue planet. So planet earth is habitable because it has the right distance from the sun. It is kept warm by an, an insulating atmosphere and it has the right chemical ingredients for life, including water and carbon. It can also provide water, oxygen, useful biological products for humans, and has suitable weather and climate. So the processes that shape the earth and its environment constantly cycle elements through the planet. So this cycling sustains life and leads to the formation of the mineral and energy resources that are foundation of modern technological society. So Earth is the only place in the known universe confirmed to host life and it is the only known for sure to have liquid water in the surface. So these are reasons why planet Earth is a unique one. Of course, it has liquid water and of course it has plate tectonics. And lastly, it has atmosphere that shelters it from the worst of the sun rays. So Earth, Venus, and Mars may have similarities. First, they are all terrestrial planets which made of solid rocks and silicates. Second, they all have an atmosphere. Third, they all almost have the same time to rotate on their axis. Fourth, Earth and Mars both have water. Remember that. Fifth, they all have carbon dioxide. And lastly, all have landforms. So what are their differences? First, Venus has no water. So Venus is not suitable for living. Next, Venus and Mars don't have oxygen, although that they have these characteristics that that the Earth and that Earth possesses, still they don't have oxygen, which is one of the basic requirements to support life. And third, Earth has life forms. I hope that you learned something from our lesson for today. Better study your modules and keep going. Thank you.